Good morning, everybody. This is Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome. My video is about cross stitch, and today is Friday, April 10th, 2020. This is video number 29. I'm here today with Deuce. He's actually making an appearance. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Let's see if he'll make an appearance. Eh, well, you see his rear end. <laughs> Anyway, I've got Monkey on one side and I've got Deuce right here. So anyway, welcome everybody. This is again, video 29. I'm happy to be back. A little update on me. I'm doing okay. I've had some really rough uh, weeks. It's This recovery has been tough. You would think being surgery number 10 that I would be used to this by now, <laughs> but I'm not. I have a knee the size of a cantaloupe right now. I'm looking down and it's just huge. So I'm still fighting swelling and pain and the incisions are, I mentioned in my last video, I've got four incisions, two running down the knee about this long. They're big incisions running straight like this. And those have healed really nice, but it's the pain inside the knee and all the trauma that went on inside that is just really hard for me. Um, when I'm tired, I'm tired every second and when I'm really weak still. Um, when I get really tired and weak, my voice starts to go. So you'll be able to hear a little bit of like scratchiness in my voice because um, I am tired right now, but I'm doing okay. I had my stitches out last week, a couple days, uh, last week. It was like zombie town. It was really, really weird. I was the only one allowed in the building. There was nobody in there except my surgeon and the nurse. And uh, even Rick couldn't come into the building with me. They test you for coronavirus before you walk into the building and I, I knew I was fine. Um, but uh, yeah, it was really strange. The only person I came in contact with was my doctor and the nurse. So he took the stitches out. Um, he is He's not concerned with the swelling, but it is a, a lot, a lot of swelling. So he was gonna do x-rays to see how the bone grafts looked, but he said it's too soon. So he didn't take an x-ray of that. And um, other than that, he did confirm my surgery. He plans on October. Um, I am on the top of the list because he did take out major parts of the knee along with screws that were holding it together. So I'm right now a little bit, he called me high risk. So I'm gonna be at the top of the list surgery list come October. Um, that's what he's shooting for. What they'll do is put in all the, basically the guts back into the knee, put new screws, put in a new ligament graft and I'll be all set. But, so sadly, like I said, I will have to go back in and do this again in six months and it just sucks because this has really kicked my butt. So I'm doing okay. Anyway, let's talk about cross stitch. I wanted to give you an update on one, two, three stitch. They posted, I had mentioned a couple videos ago that they were running a little slow on sending packages. They did post that due to an unprecedented number of orders and limited staff, because people, obviously we all know people aren't you know, going into work and people have reduced staff big time due to the virus. And so be patient with them. They did say that there is delays in shipping, but once you get your package, it's gonna be well worth it. Give, uh, I love 123 Stitch. I think their customer service has been great. And um, one thing I had never noticed was that they had a message board. Have you guys ever checked out their message board? <laughs> there's some weird stuff on there. I mean, there's some cool stuff, don't get me wrong. But there's like political stuff, like who puts political stuff on a craft website? I don't, I don't get that. But anyway, but there's really cool puzzles, which I have some of the puzzles I have not figured out how to do it yet. I saw a list of words and I was in there looking to see how to do the puzzles. There's lots of questions, people asking for help, pictures of finishes. Somebody finished uh, Lady of the Flag. It is beautiful. Check out their message board. It's interesting and it's a lot of fun. Stitch Mania, a lot of people have been hearing Stitch Mania. I'm still getting questions on what is Stitch Mania. It starts May 1st, every year it starts May 1st. And what the object originally was, was to start 31 projects a, you know, for each day of the month of May. Now that's a lot of projects. So what I love about Stitch Mania is that people make it the way they want it to be. Some people, might do every other day, which would make it about 15 new starts, and then fill in the extra days with whips you are work in progresses that you already have. 
I think I'm going to do the year 2020. So I'm going to do 20 new starts. I already have them kitted up upstairs. And I posted a picture of me and the kitties sitting on the floor on my Instagram, but I'll insert a picture here. We got everything together. I've got 20 new starts. The rest of the days are going to be filled with stuff I already have that I'm working on. And I'm going to do a video to show those new, what the My Stitch Mania will be. I'll do that in a couple weeks. So what I love about Stitch Mania is that someone said they're going to do, I think it was Renee, said she's going to do 31 new Mill Hill kits. That is awesome. I think that's just totally awesome. But for some people, that's too much. And for, you know, for me, I'm going to do 20. Some people think that's too much. Other people want to do one new start and work on that for 31 days straight. I think that's awesome. That's part of Stitch Mania. So uh, there is a Facebook group. Stitch Mania is with a Y, M-A-Y-N-I-A. -A, and uh, join the Facebook group. It's a lot of fun. And uh, make Stitch Mania how you want it to be. It does not have to be all these new starts. Could just be one and work on it 31 days. Another person said they were going to do three new starts, one in the beginning of the month, one in the middle, one at the end. I think that's awesome. I tried a new fabric company. I got my order just a few days ago. The shipping was amazingly fast. I was watching Nicole's Needleworks. If you like samplers and you're interested in them, check out Nicole's Needleworks. She's amazing. She has beautiful progress, beautiful finishes. But the company she mentioned was called Seraphim with an M, Seraphim Fabrics. I did email the owner, her name is Lori, and she wrote back to me and she, um, I told her I was gonna mention her video because I uh, mentioned her on my video because I love the fabric so much. Nicole on her video showed Dusty Road. I loved the color and I ordered some 32 count. I'm gonna hold it up against my notes uh, so you get an idea of the color. It's really pretty. It's like a tannish, little bit of rose maybe, a little tiny bit of rose. But anyway, up against the, the white, you can kind of see the pretty color. Dusty Road. So check out seraphimfabrics.com. And they have a lot of pretty colors. I ended up getting 32 count and I got a, a fat half. This is going to be on a new chart that I got, which I'll show in a few minutes because it's a new release from Long Dog and I'm excited to start it, but it's going to be a mania start. Something I'm going to do in the next couple of videos is called announce your shop. So what I want you guys to do is if you have an Etsy shop, if you have a website, if you sell anything and you have a site that we can come and look at your things, tell me what the name of the shop is and where it is. I'm going to announce it on the video next week. Next week, I'm going, to pick, I'm going to tell everybody in comments to pick a shop that you liked, and I'm going to pick two winners to pick anything they want in that shop. So this video is going to be Announce Your Shop. Tell me what you sell. Do you do needle minders? Do you do project bags? Do you, do, um, do you have a stitch shop? You know, like do you sell charts? Anything. Any kind of quilting? yarn, whatever you sell in your shop, tell me what it is. I'm going to announce your shop in the next video. It'll be a lot of fun. I also want to say thank you. Uh, be, gosh, I should have said this in the very beginning, but thank you guys so much for all the cards you have sent, all the well wishes. I have some cards on my right next to me on my stitching area, upstairs on my nightstand. I've gotten some really, really great cards that have just made me so, so happy. This one made me laugh. It, uh, I'm going to show you what Diane got me in just a few minutes, but this card, she said, reminded me, reminded her of me, Jean, and Gina, <laughs> the two uh, ladies I always talk about, my best friends. Another card, this card is beautiful. It's from Dot Dot Goose. She sent me a project pal, which I'm going to show in a minute. Look at this adorable card. Oh my gosh. I love kitties. I got a beautiful postcard and this is the, old, these are the cards I have next to me. I have more cards that other people, um, oh gosh, there's so many, Carol and Perlinda. Thank you guys, everybody. If I'm not mentioning you, don't, oh gosh. Like I said, just know that I'm so grateful for the cards that you sent me. This is from Amy Loves Toads. Isn't that cute? She knows I love birds. I love birds. <laughs> 
just so many great, great cards, you guys. Thank you so, so, so much. This one's cute, the Band-Aid. And I just realized, this is from Susan, there's a needle minder inside. It's so cute. Wait till I show you what Susan, what Susan got me. Anyway, thank you guys. There's so many, I got so many great cards. Thank you so much. And the prayers and the thoughts, the emails. Thank you guys. Another thank you to you guys for finding the mystery chart. I had posted a picture last video of a chart that I wanted to know. I loved it so, so much. I'm gonna take this out so there's no glare, but this is called Peacock Garden and it's awesome. I found it, someone found it on Etsy for me, sent it and I bought it. So this is what it looks like. Look at that castle, the peacocks. I'm gonna show it really close. Hopefully it doesn't blur and then I'll pull it down. But look at the steps. It's just gorgeous. Hopefully that came out. You know what? I'm so dumb. Hold on. This is such a better picture. <laughs> it's right behind it. Here we go. Much, much better picture. Look at that gorgeous castle. The stairs. I love black work. I love doing black X's and just building a picture. So this got ordered. And when I ordered it from the Etsy shop, this is... Uh, the bottom of it, the rest of the castle. I think it's fantastic. It's so, so beautiful. This is gonna be a start, but if you can believe, I ordered the PDF, it is 100 pages. Look at that border. I just think it's incredible. So anyway, thank you guys so much for finding the name of it for me so that I can order it. I did. <laughs> Okay, I had a few questions from some viewers. Someone asked about MyBobbin.com if the patterns are in color or black and white. MyBobbin.com has lots of des different designers. So I got several charts, some were in black and white, a lot of them were color charts. So I think it depends on the designer. Check out MyBobbin.com because they have some great, great charts, they're so beautiful. And um, so to answer the question, both. Clara, at, oh, she wanted to know the name of uh, Corey Batakori. She couldn't understand like what I was saying, which I'm so glad you asked because it is confusing. I'm gonna show it here. They are on Etsy. They are also available in all the needle workshops. They're very popular and um, such cute charts. I'm actually gonna show one that Jean bought me just a few days ago for my birthday. Daylene asked my thoughts on Splendor Silk. Now I'm doing Splendor Silk on Anne Grimshaw, which I'm gonna show in a few minutes. I love Splendor, love it. It doesn't seem to snag as much as some of the other silks that I've been using and um, it's beautiful. I love the coverage. I'm doing it on, well, what started as 32 count, I'm now doing it on 28 count. I had a disaster happen over the week, which I'll tell you about in a few minutes. But anyway, Splendor, very buttery, very, goes through the fabric like butter, I love it. And like I said before, I don't have as much snagging um, on my dry hands. So I really, really like it. Okay, Deborah asked if there were any stitch shops in Los Angeles. Now I go to Los Angeles quite a bit. I haven't found a single stitch shop. I found some yarn stores I liked. There was one out near Oxnard that I really liked or Ventura County. Um, other than that, no, I don't know of any stitch shops in Los Angeles, which is weird because California is so big and not, not that I know of. If anybody knows of any, let me know. Olivia asked me to mention the two Russian websites. Mybobbin.com was one of them. The other one was per, Perunasvet is how I say it. I'm going to show the name of the, the um, it's on Instagram. If you, she might have a blog, but it's all in Russian. I'm not able to understand it, but if you go up to her profile picture on Instagram and click it, there's a link. Click on that link and you can go to her. She's really good about showing everything on Instagram. That's where I get my charts from. And what you do is you send her a message. Just send a message in English, she'll answer you. She speaks good English. Giveaways. We had some giveaways. I'm going through it a little fast because um, 
I want to show you some haul giveaway we had by Little House Needleworks. This was giveaway number one. It is Hope with that cute little sheep. The winner of this giveaway is Carolyn121. C R O L L I N 121. Congratulations. Get, get a hold of me via email, which is Stacer5. It's S T A C E R number five at AOL.com. So, congratulations, Carolyn 121. You won the Hope Chart by Little House Needleworks. Giveaway number two was this really, really pretty quartz fabric. It is 28 count, 18 by 27. It's like a pinkish color. It's really pretty. 28 count. The winner of this fabric is Darlene Barata. B-A-R-A-T-T-A. -T -T -A. Congratulations, Darlene. Send me an email and my husband will mail this <laughs> since I can't go out. <laughs> He'll mail it to you. So congratulations, you guys. I also have another giveaway. Now, last two, three, four weeks ago, three weeks ago, before my surgery, I had asked for any picture that makes you happy. Anything fun, or you can tell me a joke. If you don't want to insert pictures, you can tell me a joke. I had so much fun with this. This was so awesome. I can't even tell you the, the emails I got. They were just a blast. I, I got, I answered, I think I answered everybody. I loved them. Thank you guys so, so much for sharing your family pictures, sharing your, your jokes and good times that you've had and just made me really, really happy. That first week is when I really had a difficult time with this surgery. And, um, you know, I really, <laughs> I shouldn't say that first week. I would say this week has been the hardest. Well, because I was so, met, you know, you take a lot of pain medicine that first week, so you're medicated and you think it's really hard. It's when you're off the pain meds and when you're trying to do things around the house and moving around and stuff, that's probably one of the hard, it, the, all three weeks have been very, very hard for me. So I appreciated looking in my email and seeing emails that I got from people and their pictures and there are kind words and stuff. So the winner of the gift card, one, two, three stitch, it was a $25 gift card. The winner is Debbie Hunter. Congratulations, Debbie. I loved your picture. What I did, everybody's name was entered on a paper. I did a random Google select because I loved everybody's pictures. But Debbie's picture was of her sweet pug, Penelope. And Penelope had a pair of Mickey Mouse ears. Beautiful beautiful baby Penelope. So thank you so much, Debbie. Let Get a hold of me with your address and I'll send you your gift card. Thank you so much, everybody, for entering. And um, it was awesome. Okay, let's talk about mail. Mail, again, the birthday cards, the wishes. Thank you, everybody, so much. I wanted to show Melanie's. Uh, Melanie sent me the cutest card. <laughs> Look at this piggy, so cute. Oh my God, I love pigs. Wanted to show you the needle holder she sent me. She sent me some, um, she also sent me my favorite Sullivan's ball, ball uh, point tip needles. Oh gosh, thank you so much. But this is awesome. This is the container that I have for my needles looks like a blood vial. You know, when you get a blood test, that little blood vial, and it's starting to crack along the sides. So it's, this is just perfect. It says, today I stitch, tomorrow world domination. Isn't that awesome? And it's a, oops, it's a slide needle kit, needle holder. Thank you so much, Melanie. This was awesome. Made my whole day. Um, Daylene sent me a card. I gotta see if I have it here. It is so funny. She found, give me one second. Oh my gosh, it's the funniest card in the world. <laughs> Daylene's card, I got my first week of my surgery. I laughed, it was the first time I laughed. It was so funny. Remember a couple of videos ago, I talked about us all, the viewers and me getting together 
to do a code five. What a code five is in police talk is a stakeout, you know, where you rent the shady van and you go and you get your binoculars and you look around, you know, for a suspect. And so I told the viewers, I said, let's do a code five on market next year where we go and we, you know, stake out the market so we can see what's going on. But anyway, I said that I mentioned wearing mustaches and look what Daily found. <laughs> oh my God. This is awesome. So you guys that are going to join me on the Code 5 for market next year, we've got our mustaches in. Thank you to Daylene. <laughs> so awesome. Susan. Wait till you see what Susan sent me. Okay, where is it? It is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Look at him. He's a mania start. Oh my gosh. So as you guys know, I have two German Shepherds, Monkey and Deuce. And this is just beautiful. This is probably going to go in my living room framed in a beautiful dark oak frame. So I'm getting started on him uh, probably the first week of Mania because this is just fantastic. It, the kit came with all the floss. It's a beautiful kit. Thank you, Susan, so much. I cannot even tell you how much I love this. It's just awesome. Diane. Wait till you see what Diane got me. Diane got me... She, you guys know how much I love crows and ravens. I feed my crows in the backyard almost every day. Look at what she got me. Isn't this fantastic? Oh my God. I have never had a scissor holder, ever. I My scissors are just laying on the table. This is gorgeous. So what you do is you take this out and that's his beak. This is available on Lindy's Stitches. I looked at the certificate. I have a certificate of adoption, an official certificate of adoption. And on the back, it says Lindy Stitches. So check out her, I believe she's on Etsy. This is just awesome. I can't even tell you how much I love this. It's so beautiful. Even my husband said, oh my God, that is so cool. I love how the beak is the scissors. Thank you, Diane, so, so much. You just have no idea how much I appreciate that. Dot Dot Goose Designs on Etsy Project Bags. Check her out. She will be one that I will mention in the video next week. And I'm going to, like I said, have you guys, two people are going to get to pick a store that you can buy anything you want from. And I'll work with, if, if for example, if Dot Dot Goose is picked, I'll see if Denise can mail it to you or whatever. But we'll figure all that out later. But I wanna pick two stores. And I'm going to put them all on a list. I'm going to announce them all next week on my video. So if you have a store, don't forget to tell me. Dot Dot Goose sent me a project pal, which I'm dying to show you guys because I've wanted one. When I'm sitting on the couch, all my floss always goes between the couch um, cushions. It never fails. So what she did, and it's available on her Etsy shop on Dot Dot Goose Designs, is a project pal. I lay my floss across it. It sticks to this. It is so handy and it's a snap. I love this. Oh, dog hair. My dogs. <laughs> anyway, it's beautiful. And she sent me one. Thank you so, so much. There's her label right here, dot, dot, goose designs. This is beautiful and it is so, I can't even tell her how much I appreciate this because like I say, my floss always goes down. And you know, even my, um, it's my floss, my scissors, so I lay everything on here, but it kind of sticks to the, um, and holds my floss as I'm working on a project. I love it. Thank you, Denise. And Diane. Diane, let me tell you how amazing she is. She is a very good friend of mine. I met her in the Netherlands during Dutch Mania last December with Just Keep Stitching and Twin Peak Primitives. If you go back a few videos, you'll see this, the Dutch Mania videos. If you're interested, interested in seeing European photos and all of our adventures, take a look at that video I made because it's fantastic. And uh, it was so fun being with Pam and Steph and the girls from Tw uh, Twin Peak Primitives. But anyway, I met Diane. She's amazing. She sent me cookies from Cheryl's Cookies in Ohio. I'll insert a picture here. Beautiful, beautiful cookies and they're fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much, Diane. I appreciate that. Okay, new charts and things that caught my eye. I'm gonna put those at the end. 
because I'm going to go straight to my whips and some haul. So if you're interested in seeing new charts that are out, and like I said, Long Dog has two of them that came out last week, stick around. The end of the video will be the new starts and things that caught my eye. So for now, let me show you some whips. I do have a sort of finish, although it's not a real finish, on a Year and Hawk Run Hollow. This is on 20 count vintage country mocha. This is the whole chart. You guys have seen this before. Take a look at this lion because that's what I'm working on right now. This is my finish. But anyway, the lion. And let me show you what he looks like, what the what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? So you can see the lion starting to develop. That heart in February took me forever but I love how it came out, it's so pretty. And I'm doing all the months as one. That purple heart, man, whew. I love little ice skaters. And the fire, look at the campfire, it's really cute. So anyway, 20 count vintage country mocha. I'm real happy with how that came out. So that's sort of a finish, block number two, February. And I'm working on, the lion is gonna be March. Okay, the next whip I have, uh, actually this is a new start. I have not started, this is a mania start. I'll show that in a minute. Oh, let me tell you about the two ditches that I had this week. So you remember I was working on October 31st by Rivaris. I'll insert a picture here. I got about three quarters of the way done and just did not like it. I hated how I didn't like the fabric. It was on 22 count hard hanger. I've never had a problem with 22 count um, hard hanger. And for some reason, I just didn't like the floss with this fabric. It just didn't work. It was all bunched up too tight and I, I just didn't like it. So I ditched it. That is going to be a mania restart. Um, I have to put that in my notes now that I think about it, but I'm gonna restart that again with different floss. I didn't like the variegation. I, if I have a picture of the almost, you know, when I ditched it, I'll put a picture, but you can see it's all scrunched together. And you know what's weird is that it really isn't all that scrunched. The variegation in the floss, which I loved, it was Colonial Copper. Is that classic color works? Colonial Copper. The variegation's beautiful. I just did not like it on this project. It made everything look just so tight when it, it really wasn't tight, it just looked that way. Anyway, I ditched it, didn't like it. My second ditch was this gorgeous, gorgeous chart and Grimshaw. This was an accident. This turned into a disaster. I had beautiful progress up in here. I did that beautiful ring and I had an accident where the fabric was damaged. So that was ditched this week too, but I restarted it. And my husband had helped me dye the fabric. It's, um, I switched to 28 count because that's all I had in my stash. And we dyed it. It's beautiful, beautiful fabric. It reminds me of the dusty road that I showed a few minutes ago from Seraphin. But this is actually just uh, from Wichel. It's uh, 28 count Lugana. It's all I had in my stash. And um, we dyed it. He helped me because I, uh... so you can see it's a tan. It's a little bit, there's just a hint of rose in it, but it's a little bit more tan, but it is really, really pretty. Um, we used dark brown, no, a little tiny bit of charcoal gray and camel writ dye. But anyway, I'm real happy with how it came out. I think it's really pretty, but I did restart Anne Grimshaw. She is not gonna get the best of me. <laughs> And this is what I'm using the Splendor silks on. So what you just saw is Splendor black. Beautiful. So I'm gonna work on Anne today. The next whip I had is actually a new start. It is Hoity Toity by Long Dog Samplers. Gorgeous. Oh, I should take it out, but beautiful, beautiful chart. This, I started in the top, I started up in here this reminds me, this is a lot more stitching than I ever dreamed. Although I'm a heaven and earth stitcher, 
I have not shown my heaven and earth yet on my videos, but I will. But this here reminded me of stitching on a heaven and earth because it was so color changes and <sighs> anyway, here's my progress. It is on 32 count legacy. It's beautiful. Look at the colors. Let me show it a little closer so you get an idea of the design. But anyway, that's on uh, 32 count legacy by picture this plus. And let me show you the silks. These are called Mrs. Sadis. They are an Etsy shop on uh, Etsy. And uh, they come from Spain. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Mrs. Sadas, S-E-D-A-S. -E Check out their uh, Etsy, Etsy shops, beautiful. Anyway, my threads are a little scraggly, but this is them. They are so beautiful. There we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Look at that green. Get an idea of what I'm using. Purples, greens, look at this green right here. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyway, beautiful colors by Mrs. Sadis. I'm real happy with them. They don't snag. They're just, um, gosh, that's pretty. Anyway, uh, I, I love them. I'm really happy with them. The only thing I changed was the black because the Mrs. Sadis black wasn't as dark as I wanted. I wanted a really, really dark, dark black to really show those colors. So I switched out the black. So anyway, that's my progress on Oity Toity. Let's see where I'm at here. I'm gonna show you some haul. I wanna show you what my friend Gina got me for my birthday. Wait till you see the project bag she made. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this, <laughs> isn't this beautiful? I love this bag. This is just incredible. It's a nice size, it's big, and that's what I wanted was a big bag. She also made me this one. This is cute for my scissors. You know what I love about it? It's real thick, nice thick material so that the scissors don't break through or point through. And Gina also got me for my birthday a fully kitted chart. This one. Oh, I should have taken it out. Let's take it out. Little House Needleworks, The Stitching Bee. This is also going to be a mania start. So she sent me this, the uh, floss for it and the chart. That's cute. So Mania Start, she sent me the fabric to go with it to start it. I'm so happy with this. Now why would I take this out and then put the plastic in the front? Anyway, there we go. Really, really pretty. Um, she also sent me a little needle minder that's got a bee on it too. Isn't he cute? Crafty bee. I like that. Thank you so much, Gina. This bag is just amazing. <laughs> I, I love it. Next, I'm gonna show you what Jean got me, if I can grab it. Now, she sent me several things, a fully kitted. This is that uh, company I told you guys about, Cori Bata Cori, just a little while ago. This one is called Pumpkin Farm. pumpkin farm and she sent me the floss along with this pretty fabric to go with it. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. This fabric is Cashel Linen 17 by 26 honey color 28 count by Hand Dyed Happiness on um, the website is Hand Dyed Happiness on Etsy. So check them out. It's beautiful fabric. I don't know if you can read that. Hopefully you can. But anyway, beautiful fabric. That's going to go perfect on Pumpkin Farm. Jean also got me a new best friend. Look at him. He's a German Shepherd. <laughs> 
several times my shepherds have tried to grab him thinking that it's one of their toys. He is not their toy. <laughs> He's mine. Okay, I'm going to show a little bit of haul and then I will show the charts that I wanted to show, uh, new release charts real quick. Some really good stuff. First of all, I wanted to mention Huckleberry Farm by the Blue Flower that everybody's showing right now because I think Amy Loves Toads and Michelle McGraw, made by Michelle McGraw, they're both floss tubers, check them out, are, they got the same chart. So here's what I'm thinking if you guys happen to be watching, we should stitch this together. That's just my thought. So Amy, if you want to do it and Michelle, let me know and maybe we can put together some kind of a stitch along. But isn't that just gorgeous? The fabric it calls for is shale. 30, uh, it was stitched on 36 count shale by Picture This Plus. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So I can't wait to start that. Another chart I got was called Spring Queen of the Needles series by the Primitive Hair. Perfect for Easter. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I really like that. I love that picture. I love the primitive hair. Um, Jen Stitching Niche. If you have not checked out her floss tube, check her out. She also has a great Etsy shop. You can send her questions with anything you're looking for. She will try and find it for you. A Quaker Christmas. She's stitched this and finished it in her last video and it was so gorgeous I had to buy it because there's a crow in it <laughs> and you guys know I love the black I love black work and I love how the colors little tiny bits of different colors so this was by uh, this is called a Quaker Christmas it's by bygone stitches and if you want to see it finished check out Jen stitching it because she finished it it's just fantastic some more haul I have more haul than I could even, it's going to have to be, I'm thinking about doing an extra video maybe next week, a haul video. And I think I'm going to do just samplers because I got a lot of samplers. I know some people aren't sampler fans. If you are, this video, next video will be for you guys. What I'm going to do is put it at the end. So that way I have my regular video for everybody that wants to watch. If you're not really a sampler fan, you can check out after the, you know, the video goes. But next week will probably be a sampler parade. This was cute. It's by Tralala. I do not know how to say it. Dose N U I T. Isn't that cute? That little mouse and Santa Claus. He's cute. You know, I probably should. I think you guys can see it pretty well. The next few I'll start taking out of the plastic. But I love his little toy bag right here. So cute. Got him. This will be a future giveaway because I accidentally ordered two of them. Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that border. That black, beautiful black border. My crutches just fell. <laughs> anyway, this is Away We Ride, Blackbird Designs. It's just, just gorgeous. This, I really thought about doing as a mania start, but I think I'm going to wait. Teresa Kogut. I'm gonna take this out because it's a real shiny one. This is called, hey, it doesn't wanna come out. Hey, it doesn't wanna come out right now. Uh, Santa Nose. You know what, I'm gonna try a little harder. Man, that is tight. This is cute. Look at him with that sheep, I love that. See, this is a definition of a beautiful chart uh, or a um, cover for a um, chart. You know how sometimes you get these charts and you're like, oh gosh, that is really ugly. This is beautiful. I love the colors. I love, it's a thick, nice, thick material. Um, so I think the cover is so pretty. Oh, let's see. Oh gosh, I'm gonna show three more. Oh no, two more. This was a gift from my friend Krista. Oh my gosh, Krista, you, I, can't, I got this the first week of my surgery and I tell you what, this really meant a lot to me. Um, I was just looking to see, I think I'm missing something here. Okay, back to uh, Paul. 
These were given to me by Krista, my friend. She is also the designer of um, Just Stitching Along. She sent me these two beautiful charts. The first one is Bendy Stitchy and the Blue Flower. It is called the Friendship Sampler. Isn't that adorable? This will be stitched up, guaranteed. That white swan is gorgeous. And on the back, it shows it's a drum. You can make it into a drum if you want. Gosh, I almost want to frame it. You could do either, I'm sure. But anyway, Bendy Stitchy and the Blue Flower Friendship Sampler. Gosh, I love this so much. And the next one she sent me is from Annie B's Folk Art. Little Pink Houses. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's so sweet. And I like white stitching too, even though it sometimes can be a pain. I love white stitching. So this is by um, Annie B's folk, folk Art. Love, love, love. She also sent me a needle minder and a little thing of lotion, packet of lotion that is just so awesome. I'm going to try and find it online where I can buy a bigger one. This is my needle minder, Floss Girl. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I love it. Thank you so much, Krista. You just totally made, you made my whole, I can't even tell you that week was really tough. So to receive that as a get well gift was just awesome. Made, really made me happy. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do giveaways for next week. We have three of them. Oh, I've got some great charts to show next time by Liz Matthews. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. I'm gonna show everything next week. Oh, here's another thing of haul I wanted to show real quick. The Beadsmith. Jen from Jen Stitching Niche had mentioned this on her video. If you do Mirabilia's or if you happen to do um, Bella Filipina designs, they have beads. The beads, I always have them on my table and they're always rolling around. It drives me nuts. She had mentioned this Smith bead sticky mat. Now this is cool because here's a picture on the back. It's sticky so you can put your beads down and they don't roll all around. I ordered this on Amazon and like I said it's called Bead Smith and it's just a flat thing. It's got a cover and Jen also said that if you wet it it goes it you know like clean it a little bit you know as time goes on it stays sticky so this is really cool check this out if you work with beads beadsmith supplies is what it's called and it looks like that okay let's start with the giveaways giveaway number one is a chart that i did promise you guys it is kringles by little house needleworks so if anybody's interested in kringles i don't want to open it up because this is going to be somebody's chart but Kringles is giveaway number one. Tell me your favorite drink, your favorite beverage. For me, it's hot tea. I drink tons and tons of hot tea, black tea. I love it. It's uh, my addiction, I think. I love to drink um, it with a little bit of milk. And um, I don't like Earl Grey. My favorite drink is hot tea. So tell me what your favorite beverage is. Little House Needleworks Kringles is giveaway number one. Giveaway number two is the Cross Stitcher Magazine May edition. Wait till you see, they've got some really cute stuff in here. Uh, this is awesome if you like a different, different type of cross stitch. And there was something else in here that is really cool I saw. Oh, the ducks. This will come with an insert. And it always comes with a little kit. Let me show you the ducks real quick. So cute. I loved this cross stitch. Oh, you're okay, baby. You're okay. Look at this one. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, that's cute. So there's some really cute stuff in here. And like I said, that one on the front, <clears throat> I'm starting to get tired, I'm losing my voice. That one's really cool. And then the back looks like this. It's got some other stuff inside. So this is giveaway number two. What you're going to do, answer the question, tell me what your favorite beverage is. At nighttime, 
I have not been able to drink any wine, but um, actually I can now because I haven't taken pain meds for about a week. But I do love Bailey's Irish Cream. I love Frangelico is one of my favorite liqueur drinks. And I also love Moscato wine. It's one of my favorites. So those are my favorite dinner drinks. During the day is hot tea. So you're gonna answer the question, your favorite beverage giveaway number one is Kringles, Little House Needleworks. And number two is the Cross Stitcher Magazine. You know what, I'll just stick one more in because I had planned on doing number three. I promised Ada for the Ada people. I have a lot more Ada to give away in next videos. This is Helix. It is 14 count Helix. It's not very big, it's 12 by 17. This is giveaway number three. And I'll give you an idea of the color. It's kind of a grayish color. It's really pretty. Uh, against the white, you get an idea of what it looks like. So if you're interested in 14 count Helix by Picture This Plus, let me know giveaway number three. Okay guys, I'm gonna show a few new releases. I gotta find my notes. One of the new releases I bought already, it is by Long Dog Samplers. They had two of them. And this first one is so awesome. It's all, uh, New Zealand and Australia cross stitch called Anzac. This is a mania start for me. But isn't that adorable with the animals, the kangaroos, all of the Australian, look at that shark. Isn't that cool? So this is called Anzac. Sorry for the glare guys, but it's all, oh, look at the koala bears, all Australian animals and New Zealand animals. It also has the tribal, some tribal references and beautiful, beautiful cross stitch by Log Dogs, <clears throat> Long Dog Samplers. Oh, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Number two by Long Dog I wanted to share that I absolutely loved. Pavane, P-A-V-A-N-E. That's a new release from Long Dog. Another company I wanna tell you about that is just so beautiful is called Bella Filipina. They have an Etsy shop that they have had to temporarily close due to the coronavirus um, epidemic, but they are available at needlework shops. So if you're interested in this new release by Bella Filipina, it's called Gaia the Earth Goddess. It is gorgeous. G-A-I-A. -A. Uh, but like I said, they do have an Etsy shop. They just had to temporarily close it due to shipping and stuff from the Philippines. But this chart, check with your uh, needle workshop, see if they can get it. Some more new releases, Al Forest. Their new release is Prince Narcisse. So pretty, look at those greens. Aren't those beautiful? Another new release I wanted to show you guys is Rivaris Nantucket Needlebook. Isn't that cute? I love those colors. So beautiful. And I wanted to show you this one because it's so adorable by Sugar Stitches. Miss April Calendar, Calendar Girls Series. That bunny and that little girl. That is just so cute. I love that. Another new release, Autumn Lane Stitchery. They are on Etsy. They also have a Facebook, it's called April. All right guys, that's about all I have this time. So thank you so much for watching my video. I am going to have a haul video next week. Um, I wanna do two videos because I have a lot of samplers to show you. I think what I'll do is my regular video next week and it'll be, you know, like the first part will be kind of short, then I'll have some uh, haul that I have. The last part of it, I'm gonna do sampler. So that way people can watch the next video and still see a regular video. And then those that wanna stick around for samplers, it'll be at the end of the video next week. Thank you everybody so much again for all your comments and everything, your cards, prayers, everything. It's, it's meant a lot to me. So make sure, don't forget if you have a shop, Tell me about it in comments or emails. Let me know what your shop name is and comment below for the giveaways uh, that I showed before. Kringles is number one. You can enter for all of them if you want or just tell me which specific one you want. Kringles is number one. Number two was the Cross Stitcher Magazine. 
And number three is this beautiful 14 count Helix by Picture This Plus. Thank you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.